back at it uh, welcome to my shop my name's Kevin this is my shop we got this tacked in now we got to make the grate there's several ways I thought of making the grate uh, and I like to do everything as much as possible as simply as possible and the reason being is the average guy is not gonna have He's going to have a welder. He's going to have a drill. He's going to have a way to cut metal. So that's the way I like to do stuff. I don't try to go fancy, fancy. You could go in there with a mill and mill these out. You could weld bars in there. Stuff like that. What I did was just segmented this off. And alternated holes back and forth. And what we're going to do is we're just going to drill these holes out. And then we're going to cut line them right to the edge. And that will give us a great. Nice and simple. The holes don't have to be dead straight and all that. And if you got a drill press, the drill press will do exactly what this is fixing to do. We get a little light here. And let's get to it. got the the tubes in they're on a slight angle this way because I want the draft to come to this side not the fuel chute side so we're going to tack this weld this we got the great cut but I want to put it in so I can compress it like this to give it a little bit more strength that way I can give it a bow up or a bow down really I want a bow up because grates have a tendency to droop so that's the reason that is like that well, let's get to it in here we're going to have a piece that goes from here to here and then a piece from here to here and then a piece from here to here then we put the bottom the reason that is so when i weld it i can bond all these surfaces in together so it's complete weld all the way around the grate doesn't really matter that much but i still want to get a good weld over here so it doesn't sag so and it's easy enough done ladies and gentlemen like i said i showed this as a two-part series it's not going to be a two-part series which I've got to trim these down. I've got to trim all these scallops off and everything. But 
I got it all put together, I got it all ground down. I don't want to make it look half ass. Excuse my French, that's A Z Z, not A S S. So, let me shine a light in here. You can see what I got going on there. There's the grate in there. You can see that it's welded all the way around. I ground all the welds off, but uh, I hope you can see what's going on in there. That's where the air is going to be coming up. I'm going to put a pipe in here. I'm going to smash it flat right here. And then the blower is going to go in it. I found, excuse the mess, but I found a, and I lost a, no, it's right here. There it is. I found a five volt little small fan and that's going to go on this. It's a 40 millimeter fan. It does come on. They both power up. They both come on at the same time. Not at the same time. This comes on a little bit later. It, it has to get a little bit hotter for this one for it to come on, which is, which is not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing at all. Uh, I already got this hooked up. Now I had to hook this up uh, reverse polarity. And I'm going to show you why here right quick. In a fan, this is called a volute. And the fan should run in the direction of the volute. Always when you check rotation, if you if you don't understand if you don't know the rotation of a pump look at the volute because the pump will always be going in that direction okay so we got this hooked up we're going to now and I put a little paint in there so you could see and it's going in the direction of the volute the other way it was going opposite of the volute so it wasn't as as efficient this on the other hand doesn't matter we're going to put this hot to the positive side and I don't know why that is because I read the voltage coming out of this and positive is positive negative is negative I think it's just wired different in that particular application right there they didn't care they just wired the battery pack up to to do it so here's the little fan there's that and this is to keep if I'm gonna put this on here to remove some heat out of this heat sink to keep these from getting heat saturated where they just get to a certain temperature and then they don't produce any heat as long as I cool one side they'll can keep they'll can uh, continue to create voltage heat saturated then they'll stop creating voltage I think I'm not sure but I'm, I'm pretty sure they will all right here we go Now that'll come on at a little higher temperature. And there it goes. Okay. Now what the temperature is right offhand, I don't know. I just know it's gonna it's going to work. This will shut down quicker, this will spin longer. So we're pressing forward with this. I'm sorry, uh, this is not a two video thing thingy. It's just there's a lot to do. And I've got a lot going on. So, that in a nutshell. Uh, that's not that hot. That thing's still spinning. Okay. This takes a lot of heat out. This will take a lot of heat out. And that little fan will take a lot of heat out. But once I get this done, hopefully, and like I said, this will have a uh, trap door on it. And uh, I told y'all in the previous video segment that these tubes are aimed towards the back side here uh, just to uh, keep the draft more to this side. That's going to be the area where all the ashes are going to fill up 
is that going to work I have no idea but this is going to be for a quick cook it's not going to be heating anything or anything like this it's just going to get your charcoal up to heat or I mean your wok up to heat or my disc up to heat <laughs> and so I can do a little stir fry stuff like that I'm gonna clean all this up this indentation right here where it goes in like that I don't know if y'all could see it properly but there's an indentation right here all this is gonna be cut out and I'm putting in a round piece and then I, it's all going to be smooth so I think it'll be a good cooking surface I got to clean it up really good got to get this done got to get the blower down up under this in the bottom plenum and that'll force the air up and a natural draft anyhow so uh, sorry for the more than two videos but uh, that's just the way it is it's just time constraint I got to get my Jeep in here change all the uh, shock bushings and all that I don't film stuff on my Jeep there's enough stuff on Jeep out there I know you don't want to see anybody I, mean, I, I know you're not chomping at the damn bit to see somebody change bushings in a shop so I'm not gonna do that so but anyway this is coming out pretty good I like this this is gonna have a hinge flat I think I've got enough metal left to do that yeah I got enough metal right here so I make a hinge flap right here to put the charcoal in I squared all these edges off and ground them to what I thought was uh, square so it really didn't matter about this one I got to grind these to get the disc on there I'm not going to weld it on there uh, naturally the reason being is that might not be the only thing I put on there I might put a pot or pan or something else like that so I might do something else to go on top of these you know in a later date right off right now I want some stir fry rice and that's gonna do a good job I believe once I get it done and I want to throw about and I really made this thing for charcoal briquettes uh, you can use wood I wouldn't use sticks and stuff I would use actual hunks of wood so that's it right now stay tuned please hit like and subscribe help support my channel a little bit watch this watch these videos I'm not on patreons or anything like that and I'm not out here begging for this or begging for that just a little bit I get I donate right back into this shop and and on these projects and most of this stuff is out of my pocket and I try to do stuff as cheap as possible and another thing too I try to do stuff where the guy with the weld machine not this setup a welding machine a drill and some way to cut metal can do this so I try to do it for the guy out there that don't have a damn shop quite like this I'm not saying I got the best shop in the world but I do have a fairly decent shop so not everybody has one of these uh, I wish everybody did that loves to create stuff that loves to do stuff so and and that's me in a nutshell that's the reason I do this I don't do it for money that's for sure uh, I do it because I like it that's really cool so hit like and subscribe guys y'all have a good day and there's my two beautiful dogs and there's my koi pond and this is where I sit to relax and this is where I go to relax even more this is my therapy in here so that's it in a nutshell Y'all have a good day.